What's going on guys? It's Jimmy here with your $1,400 third stimulus check update, fourth stimulus check update, and daily news. My, there is a lot going on in the stimulus world. We're going to jump right in. I got several different things to cover on $1,400 stimulus checks, fourth stimulus checks, four stimulus check packages, uh, new information coming out about the fourth stimulus check package. Yeah, there's there's a lot going on. We're going to jump right in. Uh, several different things to cover here in this video, so make sure to watch to the end. If you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe down below so you don't miss out on updates on the upcoming round, fourth stimulus round. And don't forget to hit the like button for us down below. All right, here we go. Number one, the IRS is sending out to supplemental payments or supplemental stimulus checks what some people are calling plus up checks, which is actually kind of confusing because um, the $2,000 third stimulus check package was, was the $1,400 plus the $600 combined was considered a $2,000 plus up. But this is actually a different stimulus check that some people will be receiving. And as you can read here, the IRS has started to send out these supplemental payments. So what are these? As you can see here, if your third stimulus payment was a little smaller than it should have been, you may receive a fourth check or deposit from the IRS soon. The agency says it has started sending supplemental payments to those eligible for a new or larger payment based on their 2020 tax returns. The IRS started sending these third payments worth $1,400 for eligible taxpayers and their dependents in March before it had time to process many 2020 tax returns. That was bad news for some taxpayers who technically would have qualified for more money based on their 2020 tax return as opposed to 2019, who feared they'd have to wait to receive that extra money or that tax credit for the full amount. But the IRS announced that they, those taxpayers wouldn't have to wait for their payments to be topped off. In fact, some taxpayers should have already received a supplemental payment, the IRS says. The plus-up payments, as the IRS is calling them, are being sent on an ongoing basis to people who are eligible for more money based on their 2020 Adjusted Gross Income, or AGI, or if you had a new child or a dependent. So basically, if you had a child um, in 2020 and you've now filed your 2020 tax return and the IRS now knows about them, well, they're going to go back and actually retroactively pay you for those stimulus checks for that child or if your income was a change. So if last year you had a reduced income check because of your income, but then you made, well, actually that'd be from 2019, and then your 2020 tax return means you would have got a full uh, stimulus check as an example. They're now actually proactively sending those out. So uh, if you're owed money from the IRS, for stimulus checks, for whatever reason, they may be sending those out. On the third stimulus check, I uh, got a good tip yesterday. If you're using the IRS Get My Payment tool and getting status unavailable, try to file your address or try to enter your address in a couple different ways when you enter into that IRS Get My Payment tool. This will be good to know for the fourth stimulus check as well. Uh, try entering your address in all capitals. Try entering it in all lowercase or try entering it um, based on the way the IRS sends you mail. You may have to go and find your most recent IRS letter or statement or something along that line and see how they spelled your address and then go and enter it the exact same way. People are now reporting that this uh, could give you a brand new update from the IRS Get My Payment tool if you're seeing status unavailable. Remember, if you haven't received your $1,400 third stimulus check yet and you're on Social Security, it's likely you're going to receive it tomorrow, April 7th. That is the big payday for anybody that hasn't received their Social Security uh, direct deposits or uh, direct uh, express deposits yet. Okay, April 7th is the big day. If your status unavailable, well, I'll keep you up to date, but uh, it's likely you'll receive it tomorrow. 
because, um, well, really the IRS sent it out on Friday and many people whose banks released the money early already got their $1,400 stimulus check. In fact, if that's you, comment down below. Let our viewers know that you've got it early. You're on Social Security. A lot of people think they're not going to get it, and that's not the case. Uh, Social Security is just behind by sending them out. And the VA is even farther behind. If you're on the VA, uh, it's likely they haven't even sent your check out yet and will not be sending it out yet until uh, mid-April the IRS uh, says. So I will keep you up to date on that as well. Another thing we might be seeing for the fourth round of stimulus, as I said, there's so many different multiple different provisions and packages and proposals and things for the fourth round of stimulus that we're calling it now, uh, is a new one that just, just came across my desk here. Uh, the feds are proposing prohibiting U.S. foreclosures until 2022, which means that if this goes through, that there might not be any foreclosures from the Fed for the entire year, basically, of 2021. As you can see here, the Consumer Finance Protection Bureau on Monday proposed banning foreclosures until 2022 as many families risk facing losing their homes as federal protections during the pandemic expire. Quote, we've seen a shocking increase in housing insecurity with millions living precariously and months behind on mortgages or rent. The amount of homeowners behind on their mortgages have doubled since the pandemic began. Of the 3 million people behind on their mortgage payments, around 2.1 million are at least 90 days behind. And honestly, just the way the Democrats are going and what they've been doing and kind of what I've been seeing them do and seeing what's on the horizon, this will probably happen. Uh, I'll keep you up to date on the status of this. And, um, you know, obviously this may affect you or a loved one. So I'll keep you up to date on this mo most recent, literally just came across my desk, uh, more information on this to come. Also, as we reported last week, the CDC extended the nationwide eviction moratorium through June 30th as more than 10 million Americans facing housing insecurity. The moratorium does not cancel unpaid rent, with renters still required to pay off their debts once the moratorium is lifted, or eventually you'll have to leave uh, the uh, the place you rent if you don't pay the rent. But um, this the eviction moratorium has been extended through June 30th, and the Biden administration is currently working to distribute the third stimulus check money that is $40 billion for rental assistance, mortgage assistance, utility assistance, and property tax assistance. I covered some of that in my video from yesterday. The thumbnail looks like this. You can watch that next. It says multiple stimulus checks on the thumbnail. And we talk about multiple different ways for you to uh, get money through all these different programs. Watch that next if you haven't yet. Also earlier, like last month, the Biden administration added additional extensions of mortgage forbearance where you might not have to pay your payment and you can just add it on to the end. And most of the forbearance is no interest, no penalties, anything like that. Uh, it's basically just added on to the end if you're backed by a government, uh, Fannie Mae or Freddie Mac. So um, that's a very good thing, the mortgage forbearance. As you can see here, the Federal Housing Finance Agency, the independent agency that oversees Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac extended forbearance by three months for borrowers coming to the at, to the end of their forbearance period, which was one year, 12 months originally. These coordinated actions will cover 70% of existing single family mortgages. So again, they've extended the foreclosure moratorium to June 30th. They've extended the mortgage payment forbearance enrollment window until June 30th, 2021, for borrowers that wish to request forbearance and provide up to six months of additional mortgage payment forbearance in three-month increments for borrowers who entered into forbearance or before June 30th of last year. But you can get 12 months just to start with mortgage forbearance. To do this, the, probably the best way to do this is just call up your mortgage servicer or your mortgage loan company, whoever you have your loan with, and ask them if they're backed by the government, Fannie Mae or Freddie Mac. If they are, you will be eligible for, um, or most likely be eligible for uh, mortgage forbearance. So ask them how to do it. Ask them, how, you know, 
how it all works, get all the details from them, make sure you know what you're doing, make sure there's going to be no interest or penalties. And basically, you can just not pay your rent for 12 months. But again, you need to talk with your mortgage servicer, make sure that they have it and that everything works and there's no interest and no penalties and all that good stuff. Last night, big breaking news from the Senate parliamentarian. Remember, she's the one that ruled that the minimum wage provision to $15 an hour could not even be included in the last stimulus package, the third stimulus check package. Well, she just did another ruling, and this one is uh, probably even bigger. And she says that she has decided that the Democrats can bypass the filibuster by using the reconciliation process with two more times this year alone. As you can see here, the Senate parliamentarian ruled Monday that Democrats can use special budgetary rules, the budget reconciliation process, to avoid the Senate filibuster on two more pieces of legislation. So two more bills or two more stimulus packages or infrastructure slash stimulus packages, setting the stage for President Biden's infrastructure package. Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer could pass a budget resolution for fiscal 2022 to do a third reconciliation package for the second half of the Biden agenda, or the fiscal 2021 bu budget could be revised a third time to set up a third reconciliation package. So basically, the Senate parliamentarian, as I said earlier, that you can use, they can use two more packages passed through the reconciliation process. This is big news, major news, because this means the Democrats can pass two more packages on their own with the reconciliation process. You know that good old reconciliation card? Well, they can pass two more packages at least. And really, if we go back when I got the information last week, and, and I was seeing a lot of comments from people watching who knows who else or whatever, wherever they're getting this information from that says, oh, we can't pass the reconciliation process again until October. And I had looked into it. I knew that that was completely wrong. And whoever was given that information was just very wrong, didn't know what they were talking about or hadn't looked into it. And um, yeah, so they can pass not just one, but two more packages this year with the reconciliation process. And if we actually go back to what Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer said like last week, he says that there's another provision in some obscure rule. I don't have the article in front of me, so I don't remember what it is. But there's a provision that says that they can go back and amend previous budgetary rules so they can possibly even pass more than two before October. And then when October comes, they'll get another one for the next year. So basically, they can pass two more this year, one more for next year at least. They get three of them per year, but based on different um, solutions. Honestly, th and then they can go back and amend them too. So just put it this way. The Democrats can basically pass probably uh, at least two, if not more, reconciliation process packages, stimulus packages, infrastructure slash stimulus packages, and possibly even more, because then they can go back and amend them through that special rule that Chuck Schumer talked about. So uh, it's safe to say that there's enough budget reconciliation processes to go around to pass multiple more stimulus packages and bills. So anybody that told you they can't pass it again this year, they were wrong. And I, I told you guys, there, Bernie Sanders was already saying they were going to use the reconciliation process for this infrastructure package. I personally think it would be smarter for the Democrats if they don't get any Republican support, which they probably won't. Not that I'm a Republican or I'm a Democrat, but just looking at it from an outside point of view, that they're, they've unveiled the first part of the infrastructure slash stimulus package, the physical part of the infrastructure package. Then they're going to be unveiling the second part, which um, Biden and Bernie Sanders says focuses on human infrastructure. We're going to likely see a lot of stimulus added in there. And then I think before all is said and done, before they pass the bill, that we'll likely see even more added in, depending on what they add in. Remember, we have about 100 Democrats in Congress pushing for a fourth stimulus check and two different bills, uh, one for a $2,000 uh, fourth stimulus check, and then $1,000 monthly recurring payments until one year after 
the pandemic. And remember, the Democrats are going to pass this bill on their own. So they only have to negotiate within their own Democratic Party. And we have almost 100 different Democrats already saying that they want a fourth stimulus check with not just one stimulus check, but monthly recurring stimulus checks uh, until the pandemic is over or until the pandemic is one, uh, one year past. This bill for $2,000 check and then $1,000 recurring payments goes until one year after the pandemic. This other bill here is for $2,000 stimulus checks, but it only goes until the pandemic ends. So the pandemic could maybe, maybe, maybe at earliest be declared over at the end of this year. So maybe you're looking at six or seven uh, stimulus checks if they were to pass this bill of $2,000. But that's probably at the earliest that the pandemic could be declared over would be maybe at the end of this year. Um, it's very likely it will go into 2021 and possibly significantly into 2021. So yeah, the good news is, is they can pass the next stimulus package all on their own. Oh, what I meant to say is I think it'll be probably smarter for the Democrats if they're going to just pass this through the reconciliation process. They're unveiling it in two portions, but we really don't know if they're going to pass it in two portions, okay? I think the media is kind of running away with that idea a little bit because Biden is unveiling the physical infrastructure first, and then he's going to focus on unveiling the human infrastructure, which we could see free community college they were talking about, free preschool they were talking about. We could see an expansion of Medicare. I have a lot of information I haven't even got to get to. I'll try to get to that in the next video. Um, but they want to add all the stuff to Medicare, free, free extra stuff in there, change the age date. We could see social security increases in there. We could see the student loan forgiveness in there. Although I think it's more likely the student loan forgiveness, the more I see it, the more likely it's going to be done through a presidential executive order to keep the cost of the bill down. They're just going to do that through an executive order and say, well, <laughs> I did it without you because the president can just sign that, or at least Chuck Schumer says. And the president has said that they're looking into it if they can do that through executive order which I think they can, based on all the information that Chuck Schumer has said. And he's the Senate majority leader. So you would think that he's been in the Senate for like 36 years or something, 30 years or something like that. I'd have to look it up, but it's a lot of years, right? It's almost as old as I am. You know, I'm 40 years old. So uh, I know I feel so old. I just hit 40 uh, in February. But yeah, I feel, I feel a decade older. I'm in my 40s now, not my 30s. So I feel a whole decade older. It's catching up to me. But um yeah, I think they're going to probably pass the student loan forgiveness of ten to fifty thousand dollars per person through an executive order. Remember, they've already done three rounds of student loan forgiveness: a billion dollars for people that were defrauded by their school or their school went out of business; one point three billion dollars for people with uh, disabilities, and there's qualifications there. And then they just paused student loan payments and interest and people that were. Um, in collections, debt collections and stuff like that for student loans. They just paused that for over a million people. So they've done three like mini rounds of student loan forgiveness and help. And there's going to be more the mass one, the $10,000 to $50,000 per person uh, in the near future. There's so many different things on the horizon for stimulus. Um, it's not that it's weird. It's like it's all being done from the Democrats now because last year, Remember, we had a Republican president and we had a Republican Senate. So the Democrats really only had the House of Representatives. So when they passed the five stimulus packages last year, that's right, they passed five stimulus packages. Two of them had checks. There was three other minor ones in there that had money for like the Paycheck Protection Program and vaccines and stuff like that. But they passed five packages underneath Trump with the first one being the most expensive, more expensive than the one package that President Biden has spent. So it's it's kind of weird. Like a lot of people say, oh, the Democrats are going to do all this spending now. But in reality, President Trump, Republican Trump, and Republican Senate, Mitch McConnell, they passed five packages underneath the Republicans. So I kind of think the Democrats are getting a little bit of an unfair uh, shaming from 
yeah, did I say that right? Democrats are getting a little bit of an unfair shaming from Republicans saying, oh, they're going to spend all this money. When that package they passed, the third stimulus check package, was less than Trump's first package. So just to be fair here, um, and the infrastructure package is definitely going to be the biggest package yet, but a lot of that is not to stimulus, it's infrastructure. And they're going to pay for the, a lot of this through tax raises on corporations and possibly on the rich people as well, the top 1%, although we haven't seen that yet. Um, but remember, it, and, and I get the question all the time, who's going to pay for all these stimulus packages? Well, typically the six stimulus packages, five that were passed under Trump and one under Biden, nobody will typically pay for those. Taxes weren't raised to pay those. Um, Trump didn't raise taxes to pay for the five packages. Typically those just go on the national debt and nobody will pay for them. Uh, in fact, most some are, economists argue that most of the stuff doesn't even have interest. Stimulus checks don't have interest. There's not an interest rate on stimulus checks. You don't have to pay them back. Um, so is it debt? I mean, it, it goes on the national debt, but some can argue there. But nobody will pay for that, okay? Um, remember, the government runs a deficit every year. Those six stimulus packages were kind of like once in a hundred year pandemic emergency. And it's just like, hey, we need to spend some money and give some money back to taxpayers uh, for that once in a hundred year pandemic. So typically, based on what has happened, stimulus checks and stimulus packages don't get paid back. But infrastructure package, um, Biden is wanting to uh, raise revenue, tax revenue, to pay for part of that or all of that. So that is a little different. But I will expect this next package will be basically part stimulus, part infrastructure, with part of the infrastructure being paid for through uh, tax revenue increases on corporations or whatever they come up with. But honestly, I think that they won't end up paying for it all, and then the other money will just go on the national debt that will likely never, ever be paid for. And it's just, it, it is what it is. A lot of people get all worked up about the national debt, but it really doesn't affect you in your personal life on a day-to-day -day basis at all. It's like your neighbor having credit card debt and um, it really doesn't affect you. I mean, the, the, there's $30 trillion in the national deficit now and they're, they'll likely never pay that off. It just is what it is. So don't worry about it. There's other things in life to worry about. Uh, that are much more important in your personal life. But I'll keep you up to date on everything with the fourth stimulus check package and all these upcoming rounds of the fourth stimulus round uh, that will likely help you out or give you money to pay your rent or uh, Medicare and Social Security and all these things on the horizon. So if you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe down below so you don't miss out on new updates. After subscribing, click the bell icon to all notifications to get reminder notifications so you don't miss out on upcoming videos that come out every day at 10 a.m., 3 p.m., 8 p.m., and 11 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Don't miss any episodes because I cover different parts of stimulus in different videos. You can click this top video here to watch my newest stimulus check video next. And this video teaches you how to start your own business selling products on Amazon FBA. I have dozens of students that have replaced their 9 to 5 income selling products on Amazon, and I teach them how to do that. So click on one of those videos next. Thanks, guys, and I will see you in the next video.